So guys, about a month ago, I posted a video about these AR glasses. They're called X-Real Air, formerly known as N-Real Air, and they're pretty amazing. Meanwhile, Apple announced their new Vision Pro headset at their annual developer conference in June. So the good people over at X-Real decided to kick it up a notch, update the heck out of this thing with the idea, hey, why wait until next year when we already have what you need right now? At a price, by the way, that we can all actually afford. So let's do a little update video check out what these can do and how well these actually work with my MacBook Pro. Let's ramble. Hold up. Thanks, go well when I pull up. They all on me like at once. Hey, what is up guys? It's great to see you all again. And if you're new here, I'm Patrick and this is where I ramble about tech and other stuff. So yeah, like I said, when I reviewed these glasses last month, I really enjoyed using them. I was able to hook them up to my iPad Pro at the airport, which definitely turned some heads. I mean, literally, I used them to play games on my Nintendo Switch, which I have to say I actually enjoyed more than I thought I would because the screen looks super crispy. And unlike some AR and VR glasses I tried in the past, these actually didn't make me nauseous even after a few hours of using them. Having said that, Xreal was still working on the software side of things. The hardware is excellent, but it's the Nebula app that really makes this thing shine. See, what happens when you simply plug these into your iPad Pro, for instance, is that you get a massive screen mirror of whatever's on your display, which is already pretty awesome, of course. But the Nebula app is on another level. It actually turns these glasses into a full-blown AR experience. When I reviewed these last time, the most optimized version of that app was available on Android phones. So I used my Samsung S23 Ultra to play around inside that environment, which I have to say was very cool. But being a productivity nerd, I wanted to use this on my MacBook Pro. I want that true virtual environment, you know, several big virtual monitors floating around me so I can do any kind of work wherever I am and not just at my desk where I have my nice external monitors set up. So I was really curious when Xreal reached out to me again to tell me that they've improved their Mac app as well. And after playing with it for a few days, I'm actually super impressed with what they've been able to achieve. But before I show you guys how I've been using these with the Nebula app for Mac, let me just quickly give you an overview of these glasses, what you get in the box, how they actually work, because I'm aware that not everybody watches all of my videos. If you wanna know even more details, I would encourage you to go and watch my initial review. So inside the box, we have this sleek looking hard shell slash travel case. And of course, the X-Real Air glasses are already in there waiting for us. The design looks a lot like my Ray-Ban Wayfarers that I've been wearing since forever. And that's a good thing because this might just be the first time I won't feel stupid wearing something like this in public. The arms are very flexible, so they'll fit comfortably around my big head as well. And the temple hinges are actually tilt adjustable, so you can choose the best viewing angle for you. The controls are straightforward. There's a screen on an off button and a button to adjust the screen brightness. Things like accelerometer, and gyroscope are built in and here you can see a proximity sensor and ambient light sensor. The actual active lenses are right behind the sunglass exterior. Also in the box is a fairly long braided USB-C cable to connect the glasses to whatever device you're using. The glasses are super light, approximately 80 grams, so you can wear these for a long time without really noticing any more than you would wearing a pair of regular sunglasses. One of the reasons these are so light is that they don't have an internal battery. They're powered by whatever device they're connected to, so you don't need to worry about charging these either. And with all the stuff we already need to keep charged, that's a definite plus for me. Do make sure you open every little compartment in this box because it also has three nose pads so you can pick whatever suits your snoot. And perhaps more importantly to some is that this comes with a pair of blank prescription lens frames that you can actually have adjusted by your own optician. Needless to say that it also includes a cleaning cloth, which you will need a lot. Now I do use these glasses a lot, so I prefer to just roll the cable around the glasses rather than having to neatly put everything away every single time. Unreal was very clever to design this in such a way that you can simply remove this flap, creating enough space to stow the glasses like that. Right, so downloading the Nebula app is easy. You just go to the Xreal homepage, look for the Nebula for Mac app, and download the file straight from the website. Once installed, it will ask you to connect your glasses, and in case they need updating, this will be done during this process as well. And that's it. 
you're now ready to use the app. And the app itself is super straightforward. There's no learning curve. You simply choose how many virtual displays you want. Do you just want one single large version of your MacBook screen? Or do you want a second display or even a third one? Personally, I like the three display setup because it really is immersive and it gives me lots of space to work with. You can choose how large you want these screens to be and you can even push them away from you or pull them closer, creating that illusion of having lots of space around you. Now, imagine being crammed in an airplane seat opening up your Mac with these glasses on and suddenly you have three big screens floating around you. If you do this with a light shield on, you'll definitely forget that you're actually in a very tight space. I picked the 14 inch MacBook Pro because it's nice and small, which is perfect for travel, but I don't like to edit videos on it because I do need lots of screen real estate for that. Well, guess what? These glasses fix that for me. I love editing videos in Final Cut Pro with these. I will open a second display for my files and a third display where I keep my notes and stuff. I think the main reason why I actually prefer using the app over simply hooking it up and having a large version of my display is the fact that you can fix these displays to any point around you. So when I move my head, the screens stay right where they are. And that's much more like an actual desk setup. Gaming is also really excellent for that same reason. I wish I could show you guys what I actually see, but of course it's not possible to really film inside these glasses. So I'm trying to emulate this with some screen recordings and some editing magic. Oh, and one more thing I really wanted to mention is the new Spatial Cinema app. Now this is really, really cool. You can actually watch movies in 3D now and the app lets you choose the size of the screen and you can choose whether you wanna have a flat screen or a curved one around you. Now imagine that airplane seat again. Pull up a massive curved screen, plug in a pair of good Bluetooth buds and sit back. Man, I'm telling you, you can't make flights any shorter, but this sure makes them more enjoyable. And more apps are constantly being launched for these glasses by developers. And the best part is the price. These currently go for $379. And as far as I'm concerned, that's a great price for those who wanna get a taste of the AR experience and a real spatial display. Let me know in the comments if you're thinking of picking up a pair. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please get one of these. It really does help the channel. Subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.